broadcast live. Show me the mayo, I'm whipping that. I told her she passed, so she fell a man. I'm sitting here with Bia, more like sitting on her desk, but you know. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, I'm so excited for what just happened with Tuli today because he did mention it that some big brand yeah. situation was going to happen, but he yeah. wouldn't say at the time. So it's really an honor for us to be here in the space and let you take us through the deal and let us see him signing yeah. the contract. Sure. Uh, just your involvement in this project, how long has the conversation been? With Tuli? Yeah. So it started um, last year at Opikopi. We. Um, had him on our 56th hour on the Antelantal stage yes, yes, with yes. Rouge and Akio. And um, it started as a simple collaboration that we did with him for the set, but also with the Jägermeister Brass Cartel. And from the get-go, the email conversation, it was just really fireworks. There was just great synergy yeah. between us as, as brand managers and the music element of the brand. It just worked really well. As a, he fits the, the essence of the brand and the kind of brand message that we have really well. Yeah, I mean, um, you did mention some of the artists that Jägermeister is often affiliated with Rouge, and I think a reason being one of them. Of the many upcoming artists that are, you know, really bursting on the scene right now, how and why did you choose to add Thule to the team as opposed to anybody else? So, believe it or not, it's there's not that much strategy to to the thinking around that. Yeah. It's, it's really we go on a feeling. So, there's a lot of people that's existing on the program, and we kind of Walk, keep on walking the road with them and growing their careers and the and the bond between us. Um, we just it just so happens that our cross our path crosses with an artist like Tuli or a Rouge yeah. or someone like Johnny Cradle or Trans McSoul and then it's just it's inevitable for, yeah. for the signing to happen. What are you most excited about with this new elevation with your relationship with Tuli? I mean, you mentioned something about having some some projects in the work that yeah. you're looking forward to him doing what is the one thing you're looking uh, forward to most he is really he stands out to us a lot because he is an entrepreneur with his own career he's like a very all-rounded when it comes to managing himself yeah, yeah so he doesn't rely on an agent or he doesn't rely on an endorsement or sponsorship he goes out and he looks for opportunities for collaborations for clothing um, collaborations for new music, for opportunities from an eventing promoter's um, side, um, digital side. Um, so there's more ways than one to, to work with him. It's not just about the music, it's, yeah. it's about his personality that uh, complements our, all our platforms. That's amazing. Um, congratulations Thank to you, you guys. You got a gem, you know. It's not just about <laughs> you guys bring him on. You got a gem in Tuli. And um, I always like to ask brand managers and, and everybody involved in brand this one question. As an upcoming artist, I'm watching this. I want to get to this level. I want to work with Jägermeister. I mean, what are some of the tips? What are some of the steps I should be taking to get myself to this level? It's fairly easy, not so easy to implement maybe, but the answer is really easy in the sense that you need to be all-rounded. You need to do as much reading as possible to manage yourself. Don't rely on anyone else. Know how to produce music. Know how to be business savvy. Know how to manage your social platforms. Um, just make sure that you have, when someone approaches you, if it's an agent or a, agent or a record label or, an, or a brand, make sure that you come with the whole shebang and that you don't have any people tagging along to, mm. to enhance your career, but that it's just you. I like that you mentioned people tagging along. Have you had situations where you have an artist but they just have this entourage Absolutely. that's dimming their light? I mean, how detrimental is that for Absolutely. an artist? Absolutely. It is so sad because it's been the reason that we often ca can't really continue relationship because we're not dealing with the person we're dealing with mm. many other people that often don't even stick they sure. rotate them and then it's a rebriefing every time and a redesign of, mm. of the artist and the brand so just I'm just broken sure telephone halfway exactly. through yeah. yeah and they drop the artist and then it's back on us so mm. relationships like that won't last in any environment powerful thank you so much Bia for the tips thank you precious uh, so where's my bottle <laughs> Yo, you, you gotta stay hustling, you gotta stay hustling, okay? I need me some shots too. <laughs>